Welcome to a Land Rover guide to the Land Cruiser. The braking system on a Land Cruiser is similar to the suspension. They try to create a hybrid between discs or drums, that whole debate. Um, so they've gone for discs on the front, drums on the rear. Similar to Land Rovers um, prior to 1994. They're more or less the same. On the front we have ventilated discs and four piston calipers. The calipers in a slightly different position. It's in the in a vertical plane here rather than up here. That's just so be it. Um, that doesn't make any difference. Um, the disc itself, it's a bit larger here and definitely a bit fatter. And down here, the, the cooling, um, the cross-section maze of the construction of the disc is quite impressive. So the cooling will be very good. I can actually see through part of the gaps to daylight below so that's amazing really. The caliper's got a very similar arrangement. Pads held in with pins in here and retaining clips. The brake hose is one single flexible pipe that comes straight from the caliper straight to the bracket and then it's fed over the top of the differential with another flexible. The rear brakes are drum brakes um, I don't really like drum brakes, they're just really difficult to see how much wear they've got on them so I've had to take the brake drum off and I've got to measure, measure the diameter here and this one's right at the wear limit. It's got a bit of a lip in there but I've had to take this thing off to do that. They've got this really fiddly star wheel adjustment, you've got to poke a screwdriver through, remove that and then twist the star wheel around, it's really damn fiddly. Um, so getting these off is a bit of a pig. Um, when they work well, they're really good, but they don't cool themselves as well. They're not so good after they've been through water. Um, Maintenance-wise, they're just pretty crap. Um, calipers, as it's got on the front axle, are brilliant because they're just self-adjusting. They're just, they're just great. So same sort of situation is with the suspension, really. The front is really good, well-designed, good. On the back here, uh, just leaves something to be desired really um, in terms of performance I've not really had a chance to test or I probably won't, won't get a good understanding of how good the performance is supposed to be on this vehicle because it's 16 years old and the braking you know adjustment fiddliness whatever brake fluid and everything it's just you're never going to get really the factory performance out of this braking system um, so I don't really know whether it's better or worse than an Land Rover, but it should be at least comparable. One of the big bonuses is they've got a cable operated handbrake which works on the wheels, which means handbrake works like a normal car, you just pull it on and it stays stationary. A Land Rover, because it works on the transmission, you pull it on and then you can have some roll as the slack and the prop shafts and the diff and the half shafts are going to take up. You do have this kind of cable just pinging around at the back here, I'm not sure. Well, it seems quite vulnerable, um, but it's a pretty meaty cable. I assume it's um, because it's in line with the diff as stuff goes past it's going to brush past it if it was lower then it would catch on stuff but I don't know just this just seems a bit odd I probably would have rooted it a bit different but it's probably got to be completely it's probably got to be completely straight to be able to tension properly between the two drums the brake pipes root just as a Land Rover quite well although a Land Rover comes along the back side here um, these are actually on the top, so there is potential for stuff to go in there and get caught and catch on stuff. Um, but just like with the Land Rover, it runs along the top of the diff. The flexi hose up to the chassis and along. I think I prefer the Land Rover routing of pipes here. Um, but the handbrake is really quite useful actually, particularly when I'm doing hill starts off-road. For having a handbrake that actually stops the vehicle when you pull it on. So in general the braking system is probably okay, probably looks quite well, but they've compromised as far as I'm concerned on the rear, so I think Land Rover's got the better all-round braking system for maintenance, and just from a maintenance point of view really. Um, there's no reason why drums can't perform as well, but I just think just discs are so much better, and particularly in an off-road environment, is that you can clear them out a lot easier if you get dirt or something stuck in the bottom there. Or as we see here, it's got a lot of crud just running around the bottom. I even found this spider in the bottom. Um, 
discs tend to be self-cleaning, so I think Land Rover's got it um, got it right for the brakes with discs all around. Click here to go to the next video. Right here. That's where the button is. Right there.